again with yet another resin test. People have been wanting the resin test for my Patreon, so I've been doing them. Uh, due to a, I'm not sure what happened. I lost some of my brake test data from before, so I had to do stuff over, some stuff I can't get back. So that slowed me down a little bit, but I'm on a roll making these videos. And my next test is, is a resin that, that, that seems to be like hitting the, our little 3D printing world you know, by storm. I see a lot of people using it. Um, people are saying pretty good things about it. I know they have some way to mix colors and do whatever, which I'm not really interested in. So I'm not, that's not part of my review, but I've seen that. Um, and I'm gonna give a shout out to Yannick Tillman. Yannick, if you're watching, man, uh, I'm partially testing this uh, because of you, because you just flooded the internet with pictures of, of Erion Resin. I don't know if, you, if you're with the company or not, but whatever it is, I see you just posting all the time. You have nice prints. I figured, uh, let me check this out for Yannick and for all my Patreons. By the way, uh, if anyone out there watching, if you want to support my Patreon, supporting the Patreon allows me to do these resin tests for you, allows me to buy the machines to test and all that stuff, because not all the companies give them to me because I won't do sponsorships. So, you know, companies know when they give me product, if they send me product, it doesn't buy a positive review. Like, I'm going to be honest. So I will not accept sponsorship from a company because I feel like it would compromise my integrity. And then what would be the point of having a channel where I'm trying to help people if I can't be honest? So I'll, you'll see that I will never basically take a sponsor. Or if someone ever decides to sponsor me, it's going to be with the caveat, you don't get any special treatment. So who would want to do that? Probably no one. <clears throat> anyway, let's get on to the, to the test. So this is the Erion Gray. I hope I'm saying Erion right. I don't know if it's Erion, Erion, Erioni. I'll say Erion. Uh, print really good, really good. Um, held detail really well. It was an in-between speed resin. It was not a fast resin, but it was not a slow resin. So I don't test many resins that are actually in-between. Usually things are either slow, like an Epax Hard or Soraya Sculpt or Soraya Blue, or fast, like an Elegoo Gray type thing, uh, or Soraya Fast Gray, something like that. Um, but this was actually in between. So what I mean by in between is like, say on my Sonic Mini, I might say two seconds for the fast resins that I just mentioned, and I'm at three seconds per layer at 0.04 millimeters on the slow resins. This was 2.5. It was literally right in between my fast and slow resins. So that was, that was intriguing. You know, I had to do a few prints before I dialed in. So it was interesting that it was in between a slow and a fast resin. Um, good detail, really good detail. Again, yeah, pixel will be floating around my head, but at the end of this video, you can go there now if you want. If you don't want to listen to the rest, you can just see how did it print out. And I have to say, this printed out really well. I'm very happy with how it printed out. Uh, so, you know, people hyping up this resin and spreading it, they weren't wrong to do it in terms of, of the accuracy of how it prints, the resolution. Uh, fine details came out really good, so I'm happy with it. Now, since it's an in-between resin, I'm not sure why, but I, I don't expect it to do well in the brake test. I expect it to be kind of brittle. But let's see. You never know, right? So you do it. So here is my test spear that I normally break. Uh, let's check it out. So right in the middle first, so we can see if there's any flex. Uh, almost to 45. Oh, okay. I would say that was just before 45 degrees of flex before it broke. Maybe 40 degrees. Okay, so that's actually pretty flexible. And because on a smaller piece like that, it breaks a little sooner, right? Uh, let me just break it again because it's fun to break prints, even though it makes me sad. And see that, like on a thicker part, once you get to a certain point, it just it snaps right away. All right, let's do the throw slash drop test. So first, let's just do a little uh, two, three feet. Ah. Everything intact. See, as you guys know from watching these brake tests, I just wiped off the tip of a hair from another brake test that had broken off when I was doing one of my other resins, um, so I don't get confused. What we look for, I mean, these three little pieces of hair sticking up, obviously the first things are going to break. They're really thin, and they're really exposed out on their own, so any good pressure is going to break them. So let's see what happens when we give her the full uh, about four and a half foot test Usually this breaks off the hair if it lands on it, so. God. That took a nice ride. Let's see what we got. 
Okay, I did, even though I didn't hear it happen, the tip of that hair did break off up oh, and the second tip. So it must have landed right on those hair tips because those both did break off. This is actually a good model test. It seems when I throw it up high, it does tend to land somehow on those hair tips. It doesn't seem like it'd be weighted that way, but those do tend to break off pretty well when I throw it. So that's not surprising. I think, I'm not sure any resin yet has survived. When I throw it up to the ceiling and back down, I'm not sure the hair has survived on any resin yet when I did that. So maybe that's what we're looking for. A resin that survives that will be incredible. Let's, it's still sticking out here. Let's now see if we can uh, break off some of those other pieces. First, let's try a, just a pretty hard toss. Not yet. Still no change. Still no change. Let me get it right on there. I should put up a little blocker here, right? Still nothing. So now let's, you know, let's whale it right on that hair. I heard something crack that time. Although that, that's a pretty extreme test. Oh, <laughs> on the bounce, her leg popped off. That was thrown pretty hard, though, as you can see. All right, let's break the other leg off just to see what kind of force it takes to break a leg off of this thing. Okay, not too bad. I broke it off at a, at a weak joint. Um, some resistance, but it was, it's not terribly, terribly strong. Obviously, you're not supposed to be breaking your minis to test the strength. Uh, it's just something I like to do. I would say, uh, again, like most of the resins I've tested so far, normal a normal knock like this, a couple inches or just on the table or you hit it with your dice or your friend goes like this and sends it a little flying, nothing to worry about. It goes flying off the table and it's going onto a stone floor or hardwood floor like I have here and it happens to land on a tiny little small part that's going to break. Um, but again, so far that's been every resin I've tested, even ones mixed in with the Tenacious so far uh, have broken from that. And, and every, the hair's always broken when I, when I throw up and hit my ceiling and it comes back down the four and a half or five feet back to this table. That tends to, nothing seems to be able to survive that either yet. Um, but who knows, I have Hero resin that I'm going to be testing soon. And some people say that can survive a pretty decent drop test. So we'll see how, what I have to do to break that when I get to it. Um, but again, so, so again, this is, if you're not largely mishandling your minis, uh, this seems, you know, decently durable actually, and it prints really nicely. So I'll also, I have to uh, find out the price and I'll float that in a box around my head because one of the considerations here for resins is, right, we we'll have to look at a couple of things, especially if you print a lot. One of them is price. So you want price, durability, and printability, like, accuracy. So I know where this stacks up. It's very accurate, especially for a fast resin. I really, it's one of the more accurate, faster resins I've tested. Um, durability seems okay to me. Again, as I always see in, say in my videos, if you watch, I'm not real rough on my minis. I, the most it gets, it doesn't get knocked off a table or thrown like I just did. Most it gets is knocked over. And this is definitely going to survive like a knockover. Or, you know, so I think for most people, the durability of a resin like this is good enough. Uh, if you're, you know, playing, you know, if your kids play, if they're a little rough, if you're clumsy, you know, I think you take uh, something like this and you mix it with, you know, 10% serrate tenacious. You know, it's, it's worth a little bit of extra money if you're rough on your minis to always mix in a little tenacious and, and makes everything cost a little bit more, but it's better than things breaking, right? So, um, but on its own, you know, I think it's fine. Uh, I'm happy with this resin. It, uh, it also, as you guys know, since I always complain, not complain, tell the truth, I have a huge pile of shame. It's just growing every day. I, I like a gray resin that looks nice on the table, picks up shadows and highlights naturally, and, and actually, you know, shows off detail, even though it's, mon you know, just one color. It's monochromatic without paint. And this resin color, this is a lighter gray, but it looks, you know, you put it on the table, you can see all the detail. It, it looks... You know, you can see every strand of her hair, her eyebrows and her eyes jump out at me, even though it's all one color. They look a lot lighter. So th this resin looks good unpainted, which for me, 
these days, unfortunately, it's kind of getting important because I don't have time to paint everything. So I'm pretty happy with this. This uh, good looking resin. Uh, I was looking around to see if I bought anything else down here that I'd print it with because I printed a bunch of stuff with this resin and it all came out really nice. Maybe in the pictures, if I can find the other stuff I printed, um, instead of just pictures of her, I'll have pictures of, uh, of the other stuff too. So that's it. So the Erion Gray, uh, if the price is right and it's available near you, this is another resin that I can very confidently recommend that you try and see what you think. Uh, like I said, printed really nicely. Durability seems fine to me. Uh, oh, as I say, if you guys watch my videos, you're probably getting bored of me saying this at the end of every video. I will try to get you a coupon for this. Again, I don't, you know, I'm not sure I have quite enough clout yet to demand coupons for my customers, but I try. The companies that are nice and understand that, you know, my viewers might want to try their product if they make it cheaper. Obviously, it's easier for people to try. So I think any company with business sense, companies, if you're watching this, think about this with me. It doesn't even matter how many viewers I have. If you get even a few of them to try your product by giving me a coupon and lowering the price for people, you might get a new customer for life or for whatever period of time. So please give my people coupons so that they can try these products out. You know, I get nothing from it. That's fine. That's, I'm not doing this to get anything. I'm doing this to spread knowledge and hopefully help people. So at least all you big companies, the least thing you could do is give my viewers coupons so they can get some benefit and, and try your products at least. And if your product is good, they'll buy it. If it's not good, they won't buy it, right? So that's what it is. Anyway, hope you guys learned something. Hope this helps you out in some way. Uh, I have even more resin reviews coming. I've, I'm working on uh, Monocure, uh, Hero Resin. I think one or two, I was like, just off the top of my head, I can't even think right now. I'm sorry. But anyway, please like, please subscribe. I will see you again soon. Thanks and happy 3D printing. So look how clean and perfect this print came out. I always look on this model, which is the one I always test on, the eyebrows, the eyes, the eyelids, and the mouth, and they all came out crystal clear. Just look how crisp that face is. Then we look at the buckles on the bracers on her forearms, and we look at the prong of the buckle. That's the little tongue thing sticking out that goes through the leather. Came out really nice and clear. And then something that I don't talk about too often because it normally doesn't come out this clear. If you look at the jewelry, the band around her left bicep, there's a pattern carved in there. And it is so fine and so thin that usually it doesn't get picked up, to be honest, or at least not clear enough to really see. This came out really clear. So I'm really, really impressed with this resin. So anyway, I hope that now that you guys are seeing it up nice and close, uh, you see what it can do. So that's it for the review. Thanks for watching, everybody.